The decathlon got underway this morning with the 100 metres. There were four races, but all the favourites going in the last one, including Dan O'Brien of the USA, who, when he won the American title, was but three points short of Daly Thompson's world record. O'Brien running there in lane three. Inside him, well, from the inside, Christian Plazia, the European champion of France, and Dave Johnson there of the USA at Plazia. Dan O'Brien in three, Torsten Daut of Germany, Robert Schmelik of Czechoslovakia, Michael Kernler of Germany, Mike Smith, the Commonwealth champion from Canada, and Henrik Degard of Sweden. Well, both Plazia and O'Brien already got four starts against them, but the third time they're asking, they're away cleanly. And Dan O'Brien, who ran 10.23 in the American Championships, is streaming away from the field, showing why he may well be the successor to the great Daley Thompson. He comes through in first place, winning from... Torsten Doubt of Germany at an outstandingly good time there for O'Brien. 10.42 seconds, much the fastest of the day. So O'Brien off to the best possible start in the decathlon. That shows why he's the favourite. And just like Daley Thompson before him, he's got good events with the 100 metres and the long jump to start the competition off. Before that race, the fastest time had been recorded in the first race by Sermon Pullman of New Zealand at 10.82. But O'Brien, well clear of that, and if the time is confirmed at 10.42, that would be worth 994 points. So let's look again at an outstanding start here from O'Brien, who really is a fine sprinter. He's leaving Dave Johnson and Christian Blasier well down. Torsten Doubt of Germany coming up fast, who takes second place in this event, which is really not about places as an event, it's about performances and points on the scoring table, but Doubt was next, and then Mike Smith of Canada. look again at this man who may be on his way to a gold medal he's certainly an, a marvelous new talent coming out of the USA Dan O'Brien this marvelous new talent in the decathlon mixed parentage adopted as a youngster slightly rebellious during his college career but now coming into full fulfillment of his maturity as an athlete Dan O'Brien tells himself to come on for the long jump, at which he has jumped over 8 metres this year, 8.11 with wind assistance. Well, he's got a big lead after the 100 metres, 996 points, to Doubt of Germany's 9.19, and Mike Smith 9.03. Well, that's an outstanding jump to start with, and the long jump as well. Just like Daley Thompson, the world record holder before him, these strong events, the 100 metres and the long jump on the first day, but as you can see, well into the plasticine, so a no jump. Dan O'Brien had a no jump in his first attempt in the long jump in the decathlon but that was a pretty good effort in the second of his three goes he led the Kathleen after the 100 metres by a big margin, 996 points to 919 for Doubt of Germany, 903 for Mike Smith of Canada, making sure there by taking off well behind the board, and despite that still going out to 7 metres 83. Come on, says Dan O'Brien, and there's uh, certainly a lot of support for him. Well, his 100 metre time was officially 10.41, and that gave him a very big lead, 996 points to Torsten Doubt of Germany, 919, Mike Smith of Canada, 903. Into the long jump, he had a no jump in the first jump. They have three jumps, and his second one was 783. That's a very big jump indeed, and yet he took off way behind the board. So this time, he'll be hoping to hit the board spot on and get out maybe beyond 8 metres. Well, he's delighted with that. He has jumped 8 metres 11 with a following wind. So far, the best long jump of the day to Schmelik of Czechoslovakia at 7.84. And O'Brien seemed pretty pleased with it. Let's see how he hit the board this time. Well, I think, again, he had plenty to spare. But it's close to 8 metres. Look at that right behind the board. What a shame. That's cost him some 10 centimetres at least. But he's nonetheless very interested to see what the measurement will come out at. Competitors competing, of course, against the scoring tables, really. The 1,000-point level 
in the decathlon long jump is 7 meters 76. 8 meters would be worth 1061. An anxious moment for him as he waits for the distance to be displayed on the scoreboard. For some reason it's taking much longer than usual. Here it comes, 7 meters 90. The best of the day, 1035 points added to his total. Well, what a shame he didn't hit the board spot on. It would have been an 8 meter jump if he had. As it was, it's still very good indeed. And he's on his way at the moment, on his way to a possible gold medal, but there's eight events still to come. Come on. Come on. Dan O'Brien now comes to the third event of the day. It's the shot put. He has a good lead, 1,017 points over Zmelik. Oh, and that's a fine effort, well over 16 metres, and that is undoubtedly going to stretch his lead. That's the sort of distance which very few decathletes will be able to match, perhaps even nobody in this competition. So Dan O'Brien came here as the firm favourite, but this is his first major championships, and so there always has to be a doubt about athletes who lack the experience. Well, he's showing just why he's such a major talent. Let's look again at this shot put from Dan O'Brien. And it sails out there and thuds to the ground at 16 meters 24. And here's confirmation of the standings after three event. O'Brien leading, 2897. From Smith, 2715. And Pullman, 2636. But look out for Schenk, only eight at the moment, but good events to come. A moment of problem for Dan O'Brien, early days in the high jump, but he's failed twice with the bar at 1 meter 97. Third and final attempt. Oh dear, he has got problems. No longer is he on world record schedule. He's lost a lot of points. It's not a total disaster, but it could cost him dear for all that. Look again, O'Brien. I mean, he seemed to have the heights, but he, he just snicked it with his foot. And the bar, well, it tumbled to the ground. And poor Dan O'Brien may rue that failure in the high jump. He did, however, clear 1 meter 91, his opening height, so he has got some points. But nowhere near as many as he would have expected. And there's the position in the decathlon after four events. Mike Smith has narrowed the gap to Dan O'Brien to just 18 points after that disastrous high jump performance by O'Brien. Well now, can O'Brien get back at him? Michael Smith running in lane four. Dan O'Brien running in lane five. That's Smith, 175. So this race in the 400 metres, the final event of the first day of the Catherine, features the two leaders. Mike Smith of Canada runs in lane four. Dan O'Brien of the USA runs in lane five. Dan O'Brien here, or Mike Smith here, Dan O'Brien leads by just 18 points. That represents about four tenths of a second at 400 metres. That's the margin by which Smith needs to beat O'Brien if he's to go into the lead. Well, Dan O'Brien's got off to a good start, but Mike Smith is holding him. Mike Smith, who's a good 400-meter runner, ran 47.18 recently, and Smith's come up on him. And Smith's going past O'Brien. And if he can keep this up, he'll take the lead. Christian Plazier of France uh, has had a disastrous first day. He runs in lane two. He seems to be out of contention. Smith and O'Brien. But O'Brien now storming away. O'Brien coming into the lead. And O'Brien it is who, apart from that disaster in the high jump, was on world record schedule. And O'Brien is going to end the first day still in the gold medal spot. O'Brien wins by some eight metres from Mike Smith. And is delighted with a tremendous time, 46.53. Well, what a shame he failed in the high jump. Because otherwise, he'd be in contention for a world record. As it is, he's still in contention for the gold medal. Mike Smith comes up to congratulate him. Well, Mike Smith must have hoped that he could take over the lead. He got so close after the high jump. But as it is, Dan O'Brien looks to be the man to beat. And that's the effect of the first day of the decathlon. Lars Warming of Denmark lies on the track absolutely all in. 
Yet he's going to come out early again tomorrow morning and start another five events. So they started the second day with 110 metres hurdles and here's Dan O'Brien running in lane five. His main rival, Mike Smith, in the inside in lane two. And Dan O'Brien quickly into his stride. Robert Zmelik of Czechoslovakia on his left-hand side, the only one really to challenge him. It's a wet track, but it's a warm day here today, 29 degrees Celsius. And Dan O'Brien starting off in fine style, that time of 13.94, very close indeed to his personal best. Well, what a shame that Dan O'Brien almost had a disaster in the high jump yesterday, clearing only 1 metre 91, because if he'd got over a much higher height than that, he might well be on the way to challenge the great world record by Daly Thompson. The decathlon, a great test of speed, strength, stamina, the great test really of all-round athletic supremacy, and Dan O'Brien showing here many of those qualities in very fine hurdling indeed on a match for true international standard in this event alone. And so that meant that at the end of six events, he's opening up the gap on Mike Smith to 174 points. Mike Smith running 14.78, long way behind him. So, moves on to the discus. And Dan O'Brien again will have been pleased by this effort. It lands at 47 metres 20. That's close to the best that he's done in the decathlon. Mike Smith can nod his head in appreciation of that. 47, 20. He's just heard the distance and he's pretty pleased. And that means that after seven events, Dan O'Brien leads with 6396, 148 points ahead of Mike Smith. Hamelena of the Soviet Union now third, but there's a whole batch of men challenging for the bronze medal. Now O'Brien, he's failed once at five metres and 20. Rallying the crowd for support and they're giving it to, they've taken to this man, the college student from Idaho. Five metres and 20. This would be a personal best if he can do it. And can he? He can! Oh, he can! And O'Brien, surely now the gold medal is halfway into his pocket. And who knows, from this kind of position, he's still got an outside chance of going for Daly Thompson's world record as his coach watches on. This is some performance from O'Brien. Now he's going to have a third attempt at 5.30. Final attempt for O'Brien to improve his lifetime best yet again. And I wouldn't write this fellow off from just about anything at the moment. Can he do it this time? No, no, nowhere near really. Hit it with the leg. And down it comes, but it's still a personal best of 5.20 worth 972 points. And after eight events, O'Brien increases his lead. Smith in the silver medal position and Pullman of New Zealand's moved into the bronze position. Well, pretty well all that Dan O'Brien needs to do is make sure he gets a valid throw in the javelin and then uh, hacks his way around the 1500 metres to ensure the gold medal, but his pride wants to take him to much more than that. He wants to set an outstanding score as well. So here he is, his first throw in the javelin, and it's a good one. Indeed, it's better than a good one. It's a personal best. 58 metres 12 before today, and he's thrown that javelin over 60 metres. What a man. The world record's going to fall to him. Daly Thompson's record, the writing's on the wall, but for a disaster in the high jump yesterday when he only managed to clear his opening height of 191, he might have been on for it in this competition. He is an extraordinary talent. He's 25-year-old from Moscow, Idaho. Certainly the greatest talent we've seen in the event since Daly Thompson. Daly, who said, though, that he'll hope to come back and contest the decathlon in Barcelona. Well, if he is back at his best, this man's going to give him quite a battle. 60 metres, 66. So that's the position after nine events of the decathlon. Dan O'Brien has a huge lead. He's sure of the gold medal, but will he get the world record? Second is Mike Smith. He looks pretty safe, but the bronze is very much up for contention. So now, 383, Christian Plazia. A 1005, Robert Zmelik. He's pretty quick. Dan O'Brien needs 67 second laps for the world record. The 
little less than two laps to go for the leader, Bert Gerweiler, but what's interesting is what sort of pace Dan O'Brien in eighth place is going to set. 8,116 points after eight events, and he needs a time of four minutes, 32.15, to match the world record. While I think the pace is uh, a little slow for that, he may well have to be prepared to settle for the gold medal, or will he give it a real go to try and get close to the world record? It doesn't really matter about winning this race, that's Bert Gierweiler. He's much better 1,500 metres of the runs than the rest. 1.05 is Robert Zmelik. He's in contention for the bronze medal. Tosu is Christian Schenk just behind him. Then comes Simon Pullman. But look out for the figure of Dan O'Brien. There he is. Mike Smith of Canada almost certain to get the silver medal in this event. So Dan O'Brien. Surely, but for that high jump when he only managed 1 meter 91, some 200 points down on his personal best. Well, if he'd matched his personal best in the high jump, he'd only need to do a 5 minutes 8 second 1500 meters for it. So the main group and Dan O'Brien amongst them coming up with just one lap to go in the final event of the decathlon 1500 meters. It's hard work for Dan O'Brien. I think he's possibly going to be outside world record schedule. In fact, I'm sure he is, but he's nonetheless going to come in to win the gold medal. Bayat Gerweiler of Switzerland has his moment of glory. He's a long, long way ahead of Dan O'Brien, who is back in, what, 10th place out of the 12 leading runners in the decathlon. But it's all about points. There's a strong battle here for the bronze medal. There's Christian Schenk and Robert Smelik. They're fourth and fifth going to this event. They've got to stay quite a long way ahead of Petri Keskitalo. In fact, they've got to gain 12 seconds on Keskitalo in the blue vest in the background. If they can gain those 12 seconds, they will wrench the bronze medal away from Keskitalo. I think they're going to do that. Gavaila is coming in to win the race. He wins it in 4 minutes 11.85. A strong battle now. Zmelik against Schenk. Zmelik, 24 points behind Schenk. But it may be that Schenk will get the bronze medal here. 4.21 for Zmelik, 4.22 for Schenk. Schenk. It may well prove to be enough. Mike Smith coming in. He's going to be the silver medalist coming in now. And here comes Dan O'Brien of the USA. What sort of time is he going to put up? He's going to be narrowly outside the world record. 4.37.51. That's Dan O'Brien's time. But five seconds outside the world record. That world record will surely go any day because but for the high jump when he was some 200 points down, it would have gone. As it is, we've had a magnificent 10 event achievement by the great new talent in the decathlon Dan O'Brien exhausted scenes for all these runners they've given their all over the 10 events of the two days and they are absolutely all in but congratulations there there's Dan O'Brien and Mike Smith surely gold and silver I suspect I'll have to consult the scoring tables that Christian Schenk may have done enough to get the bronze medal There's no doubt that this man, Dan O'Brien, is an extraordinary new talent. 25-year-old from Moscow, Idaho, had a rebellious college career, didn't make the most of his achievements. He's surely doing that now. The son of a Finnish mother and American father, adopted at the age of two, went to live in Oregon, now based in Idaho, where he's coached by Mike Keller. Simon Pullman has given it his all. A brave attempt to get a medal for New Zealand.